Chapter 10 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two trumpets of silver, of beaten work shall you make them, and you shall use them for the calling of the congregation, and for the journeying of the camps. When they shall blow them, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the door of the tent of meeting. If they blow but one, then the princes, the heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves to you. When you blow an alarm, the camps that lie on the east side shall take their journey. When you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you shall not sound an alarm. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets, and this shall be to you for a statute forever throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the adversary who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets, and you shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and you shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness, and in your set feast, and in the beginnings of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. It happened in the second year, in the second month, on the twentieth day of the month, that the cloud was taken up from over the tent of the testimony. The children of Israel set forward according to their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud abode in the wilderness of Paran. They first took their journey according to the commandment of the Lord by Moses. In the first place, the standard of the camp of the children of Judah set forward according to their host, and over his host was Nashon the son of Amenadab. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Issachar, was Nethanel the son of Zuar. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulon was Eliab the son of Halon. The tent was taken down, and the sons of Gershon, and the sons of Merari, who bore the tent, set forward. The standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their host, and over his host was Elizur the son of Sheduer. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shalumiel the son of Jerushadai. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph the son of Duel. The Kohathites set forward, bearing the sanctuary, and the others did set up the tent against their coming. The standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their host, and over his host was Elishama, the son of Amihud. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Padazer. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abidon, the son of Gideoni. The standard of the camp of the children of Dan, which was the rearward of all the camps, set forward according to their host, and over his host was Ahazer, the son of Amashadai. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Akron. Over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enon. Thus were the travels of the children of Israel according to their host, and they set forward. Moses said to Hobab, the son of Ruel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are journeying to the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will do you good, for the Lord has spoken good concerning Israel. He said to him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my relatives. He said, Don't leave us, please, because you know how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and you shall be to us instead of eyes. It shall be, if you go with us, yes, it shall be, that whatever good the Lord shall do to us, the same we will do to you. They set forward from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of the Lord was over them by day when they set forward from the camp. It happened, when the ark set forward, that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those who hate you flee before you. When it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the ten thousands of the thousands of Israel. Psalm 46 For the chief musician, by the sons of Korah, 
according to Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we won't be afraid, though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas, though the waters of it roar and are troubled, though the mountains tremble with their swelling. There is a river, the streams of which make the city of God glad, the holy place of the tents of the Most High. God is in her midst. She shall not be moved. God will help her at dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He lifted his voice, and the earth melted. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, see Yahweh's works, what desolations he has made in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47 For the Chief Musician, a Psalm by the Sons of Korah O oh, clap your hands, all you nations! Shout to God with the voice of triumph! For Yahweh Most High is awesome! He is a great King over all the earth! He subdues nations under us and peoples under our feet! He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob whom He loved! God has gone up with a shout, Yahweh with the sound of a trumpet! Sing praise to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises! For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are gathered together, the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Chapter 8 Oh, that you were like my brother, who sucked the breast of my mother! If I found you outside, I would kiss you. Yes, and no one would despise me. I would lead you, bringing you into my mother's house, who would instruct me. I would have you drink spiced wine of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand would be under my head. His right hand would embrace me. I adjure you, daughters of Jerusalem, that you not stir up nor awaken love, until it so desires. Who is this who comes up from the wilderness leaning on her beloved? Under the apple tree I aroused you. There your mother conceived you. There she was in labor and bore you. Set me as a seal on your heart, as a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a very flame of the Lord. Many waters can't quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man would give all the wealth of his house for love, he would be utterly scorned. We have a little sister. She has no breast. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she is to be spoken for? If she is a wall, we will build on her a turn of silver. If she is a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. I am a wall, and my breast like towers. Then I was in his eyes like one who found peace. Solomon had a vineyard at Baal Hamon. He leased out the vineyard to keepers. Each was to bring a thousand shekels of silver for its fruit. My own vineyard is before me. The thousand are for you, Solomon, two hundred for those who tend its fruit. You who dwell in the gardens with friends and attendants, let me hear your voice. Come away, my beloved, be like a gazelle or a young stag on the mountains of spices.
Now in the things which we are saying, the main point is this. We have such a high priest who sat down on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. Therefore it is necessary that this high priest also have something to offer. For if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, seeing there are priests who offer the gifts according to the law, who serve a copy and a shadow of the heavenly things, even as Moses was warned by God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he said, See, you shall make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain. But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry, by so much as he is also the mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. For they didn't continue in my covenant, and I disregarded them, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, I will also write them on their heart. I will be to them a God, and they will be to me a people. They will not teach every man his fellow citizen, every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all will know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. I will remember their sin and lawless deeds no more. In that he says a new covenant, he has made the first old. But that which is becoming old and grows aged is near to vanishing away.